Hello, today we're talking about singular architecture versus modular architecture. So right off the bat, you can see the unbelievable difference of greenery. And notice the singular architecture, everything has an unused rooftop. The road is two dimensional. There's only, there's no parking. Parking is a, a nightmare. It's frustrating. All of the uh, commercial buildings are generally on the first floor. So you're constantly taking elevators up and down and up and down and up and down. In the modular architecture, the commercial spaces are on all vertical levels because finally the city is truly three dimensional. This, the singular architecture has only a two dimensional transit system. And then all of the parking issues, all of the car issues are solved on the first floor in the modular architecture. There is a parking lot on the first floor that contains all of the traditional cars and then they can easily interface with more traditional society through that uh, first floor parking lot. But all of this sun is wasted. Look, you can't see the road. The road is not visible. And then all of this three-dimensional airspace is wasted above the road and above all of these buildings because you can't expand. Once the building is done, you can't expand horizontally and you can't expand vertically. vertically. And look at these two buildings, how close to each other they are. And there's no travel between them. In a truly three-dimensional city, you could easily travel between these two buildings and between these two buildings and between these two buildings and between these two buildings. And, these two buildings. and they would have commercial space. They would have churches. They would have schools. They would have hospitals. They would have factories. All in this three-dimensional space. So even in Manhattan, even in the highest density city in the world, it is truly, it is not truly a three-dimensional city. It is still a two-dimensional city. It is a two-dimensional city that builds vertically. It is not a three-dimensional city. Arcology is the first three-dimensional city, uh, potentially ever, in the whole world. And it will have cultural and economic effects that are completely unforeseen and completely profound and um, I've tried to predict the economic effects I've tried to calculate the economic effects with uh, with math and algebra but the cultural effects are impossible to predict are impossible to calculate obviously impossible to calculate and so, this is the, the great promise of modular architecture. And also, all of this sun, all of this greenery. I mean, just look at the two images. <laughs> it's just such a profound difference. Such an absolute profound difference. And this will be as beautiful as possible. This rooftop will be as beautiful as possible. And every single city will have a completely different feeling, a completely different layout. And it's easily done without any additional engineering because of the modular nature, because of the cellular nature. And uh, I suppose this is cellular too, with all of these isolated buildings. But nothing is interconnected. If you're living in a city, if you're living in the ideal city, wouldn't you want everything to be connected? Wouldn't you want everything to be hyper-connected to each other? And this is what modular architecture is. This is what modular architecture does. No, there's no more isolation. There's no more uh, two-dimensional, horrible transportation infrastructure. In arcology, you can even have mass transit on like the 20th floor and it's zooming through all of these buildings on the 20th floor. <laughs> it's, at, you know, at like 80 miles an hour, maybe even 100 miles an hour, who knows. And you just zoom through this whole city and you don't have to go up and down and up and down and up and down on these elevators constantly. You will be using elevators a lot, sure, but you can stay on your floor. You can, you can, move horizontally instead of vertically in arcology. 
So I can't stress this enough, Arcology would be the first truly three-dimensional city ever constructed on Earth. If you have an example, a real-world example of someone doing so uh, pre like cur previously, then let me know in the comments. But as far as I know, it would be the first three-dimensional city ever in the history of civilization. And once again, we cannot predict the profound cultural and economic effects that it will have. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. And remember, a single dream is more powerful than 1,000 realities.